Hey Tom, congratulations on making a really fun film. Thanks. I just want to ask you, we're having a having a cast like this, a really fun cast, loads of great people on it. What was one of the most memorable moments from being on set with people like Simon and so These guys are look, they're just so much fun. They're just, you, you all have met them. They're just and I'm telling you, they're just warm, great people. So every day I look forward to going to set to work with them. You know, they're so talented, so you just know something's gonna happen. We're gonna get some great stuff every single day. Did you pull any pranks on Simon again? <laughs> No, no, I didn't. I didn't have any good pranks on Simon this this time. No, not not not, not like Rogue Nation. I mean, with a big film like this, there's gonna be so many scenes that you shoot that don't make the final cut. I was wondering what could we expect to get excited about to see on the DVD. Well, there's one particular piece which I'm excited to see on the DVD because I have never actually seen it finished and cut together, and that's a little sequence in the Grand Palais uh, shortly after we land on the roof. So. Uh, yeah, check that out. What happens in that? I don't want to talk about it just yet. I don't want to spoil anything. So I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. My director's right there, so I, best I don't. We'll give you a slap on the wrist. Yes, yeah. Just make sure it wasn't a very smack around the back of the head. There might be an entire fight sequence. Maybe, who knows? Is that between you and another? Who, who is that between? I can't, tell you. I can't tell you. I know there was a fight with Ilsa. There was a scene in the car with Tom and I on the way into the thing where things got a bit fruity. What actually happened in that scene with Tom then? Oh, we just talked about life in the back of a car and I had blood over my dress so I, I said something about that I enjoyed having the blood on my dress because she's, you know, she's a bit naughty. So yeah. We did shot a lot of footage. There were a couple of things that, you know, on the day thought, oh, this is going to be in the movie. Some big action moments actually that in the end didn't really suit the narrative or, or didn't sort of serve the story. Chris McQuarrie is really good at structuring a story and he knows what is wheat and what is chaff. And so, yeah, some amazing sequences ended up being chaff. We never, you know, you don't know that on the day. But maybe you'll see them on the DVD. There was a scene where me and Tom had a fisticuffs and um, he bounces my head off a BMW and I came out with a black eye from that, actually. Um, but it's not in the movie, so I'm quite, uh, you know, it was a good way to meet Tom, put it that way. <laughs> good bonding experience. <laughs> There are some shots in the movie that were really so breathtaking and so much work went into them that we put together a little reel of those shots and you'll see it on the DVD. That'd be great, because I think in the trailer there's like a helicopter going into like a truck, something like yeah. that. Yeah, it, well that's not that's not in the in the scenes because we're going to put the trailer on there as well. Uh, so you'll see that shot in the trailer, that'll always be on the DVD. But uh, that was one of the things that we had to take out because there was simply too much action in the movie. <laughs> How is that possible? And also, just one last thing, it's like... I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> it's like working with so many great actors and so many funny people as well. Were there any really great memorable moments you've taken from working on this film? Um, you know, my, I would say my favorite days are the days when the whole team is together, when you're bringing, you know, and it's very rare eh, because the movie is all over the place and you're always chasing Ethan. And, and showing up at work on a day when you have five or six actors and they're all playing together is, is, are, are some of my favorite days of the movie. Rebecca Ferguson was saying earlier that when you were doing stunt training, they did a ping pong tournament. And she's saying that Sean House is the best, that maybe you were. Is there something that you like to, what was it like being backstage on those, playing ping pong and like hanging out? Those like downtime moments. Yeah, it was great. Ping pong is one of my passions, and uh, it was really great to sort of um, to take Sean on. He thought he was the best, but uh, he didn't have a good backhand, and that's where you had to put the ball always. Uh, it, it'd smash a forehand straight over to you. You take it hard on the right, knock it back over the over the net, but skim it off the side. So then he'd end up sort of trying to go with a weak backhand, and he'd get the point. Are there any good bloopers, or did you find that like Simon would crack you up on set or anything like that? Oh, or no um, Simon particularly, uh, also Sean Harris is. Uh, there was one moment actually where we were, it's the last scene in the film, we bundle him into a car and every time we reset the thing, reset the car, he would sing random songs, Madonna, Kylie Minogue, uh, whatever popped into his head and just from the boot of a car, random. So yeah, figure that out. <laughs>